So uh, there's been a, a recent development in the Keen Activist Center situation. For those who have been paying attention for a while, you probably uh, might recall that the CAC was raided uh, just about a year ago on an administrative inspection warrant because the city wanted to see if there was a lodging house being operated there, and a tourist home, and they also wanted to look for fire code violations. Well, what are you doing here? We have an uh, administrative inspection warrant issued by the... Uh, District Division, 8th Circuit Court in Keene yesterday. I was looking for a smoke detector in a cell because they were required to have one on every level of blue cell. I did not see one. Right. Something that would have to be addressed, that's all. Or else. Um, or else we'll take your house from you, no, right? No. That's the or else, isn't it? No. That case is almost thrown out of court at this point. Um, I guess in response to them kind of losing almost that particular case, they're now coming at us again. Uh, this time with an accusation about a driveway, this parking area here, uh, also the, I guess, path around the house. Uh, they are having problems with that, claiming they were installed illegally and without a permit, and I just don't understand why I should have to ask anyone's permission. And then they found posts online that say the Keene Activist Center is a private club, and they're claiming that they have a certain definition, a legal definition of a private club. So this is just the place I live, and some friends of mine live here too, and what I want to know from them is what is my obligation to follow their rules. My signature isn't anywhere saying that I'm going to do whatever the people calling themselves the city of Keene tell me to do. So I'd like for them to explain that. And if the answer is that, well, if you don't do what we say, we're going to put you in a cage, then that's basically them admitting that, you know, um, they're just a violent criminal gang. If they want to keep bringing violence against me and my friends, then I'm going to keep non-cooperating with them. And, uh, you know, we'll go to court if necessary, and if I lose, then I'll go to jail, and they can be as violent as they want to be, and we'll remain peaceful. Uh, we'll continue to record and continue to, uh, you know, show them to the world for who they really are. So even if it was something where I was being left alone, and I'm not, uh, it would still really bug me to see innocent, peaceful people being put in cages or threatened with cages. The motivation is, is to you know, strive for that ideal society. Not a utopia, but one in which people interact on a, on a consensual basis, which I think is so important, and that's, you know, that's why I'm here. It used to be that the government guys had the numbers, and we're starting to change those tides. Now, I wouldn't say we outnumber the government people here yet in New Hampshire, but someday I'm so grateful that I'm in a community of liberty-minded people who actually care about freedom and are willing to stand up for other people's freedom. I know that bringing people together who believe in that works in the long run, whether the approach is political or whether the approach is, you know, a non-cooperative slash civil disobedience stance or opting out uh, entirely of, uh, of taxes or of a portion of taxes, as, uh, as I intend to do very soon, um, the more people we can have together, I mean, it's, it's clear, it's not just an idea, it's a proof of concept that, that it works. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com.